So uh, what are you doing now? Are you, what are you up to now? So I got my degree at Loyola University um, in Chicago after I finished high school. And then um, I am currently enrolled in pharmacy school, uh, mm -hmm. University of Illinois at, at Chicago, but at their Rockford Satellite Campus. So I'm pursuing my doctorate in pharmacy. So it's a four-year program. I'm, I currently just finished my second year yesterday. Finished Congrats, my final by the way. So. <laughs> Thanks, man. So I'm halfway done. So that's what, the plan. What was the, um, the original thing at Loyola? What did you do there? I just got my bachelor's, uh, bachelor's in For psychology. What? Psychology. Yeah. Psychology, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, Loyola's there on the, at the waterfront, right? Or what is that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They, yeah. they have two campuses, but like mainly like I'm assuming like all the sciences and like liberal arts are in the waterfront and then all the business is like downtown. Yeah. Business campus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool communications and like business is all downtown. Yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with those buildings, yeah. And... Cool. Um, did you have to pay for that or how did you get any scholarships for that or how was that so for loyola they paid uh two of my four years and the rest was out of pocket oh, okay. and then uh, with uh pharmacy school everything's out of pocket i get some scholarships here and there yeah um uh, i just won uh i just got one uh this past semester uh but it's like small stuff like 2500 3000 that sort of deal where yeah. like tuition alone is like 33 grand so mm. yeah and what was the what was the idea behind doing psychology? Why did you want to do that? Well, so initially I um I went in there and I was pre med, like I wanted to go to medical school. Yeah. And so I started off as a bio major, biology, and uh, I just kind of sat down and I looked at the four year plan of that, and I was like, no thanks. <laughs> um, and so I I I took a psychol I took a AP psychology and um high school and I, I really liked the subject and I was like well I was kind of good at it in high school and I just kind of want to continue that and um I, and I really liked it so and it also gave me the um flexibility in my curriculum to take all my pre-health classes and my major classes uh, would give me the degree so it was a nice balance between the two yeah yeah that's funny because I actually what started I was only one year at university but I actually was uh majoring in chemistry mm, cool so that's funny that you're doing pharmacy now because i was also like kind of interested in that but i wasn't sure if it was like going to be pharmacy 100 percent or you know but chemistry was of course uh my main thing you know and now are you um you're where are you at now for school uh uic, UIC. um so uic they have they have an undergrad and then they also have like really good professional schools. Like they have a college of medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, nursing. And they're like a really uh, well-known school. And the pharmacy program is actually sixth in the nation. Okay. And why did you then decide I'm going to do pharmacy after the psychology uh, thing? Well, so like I said, I was initially pre-med and then I kind of sat down with myself and I was one of those people where you can't really just coop me up in a room and give me a book and tell me to go learn. Yeah. Right. Like I'll do that, but then I'll also have like my social stuff on the side. Um, and when it came down to it and picking a career path, um, I felt that pharmacy a is shorter to complete. Um, you're out faster and there's not a required residency where there is with like medicine and it just offered a more flexible lifestyle. Um, after I was done, uh, I can get started on my life faster than I would have if I went with medicine. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Like they, what is like the number of years? Like at least twelve years or something for for. So yeah, you got to do your you got to do your bachelor's and then four years of medical school and then you do your residency and that could take depending on what specialty you go into or what residency you do can span from like two to ten years. Yeah, that's crazy. You want to be like a surgeon? Yeah. yeah so. Because yeah. here in Germany, actually. You're doing the the residency slash um, here it's called praxis like that means just like working with doctors and at the hospitals mm -hmm. during your university you know what I mean mm -hmm. so you have that basically in the same program it's not like first you do this then you do this then you do that you know and it's just interesting you know to see those different types of you know models that the states does this for twelve years and the other people do this you know. 
Yeah, no, I mean, like, um, a pharmacy and I think medicine as well, like you, you have rotations while you're a student. Yeah. But it's just that the best way to describe it is the schooling, the four years of the schooling basically just helps you build like a bare bones toolkit of like knowledge. And then after that, it's like, okay, well, I really like the heart or I really like the brain or I like this. Then you kind of like go deeper and deeper. But like when you just graduate four years, it's like, okay, well, you are a pharmacist. You are a doctor. But like you just know it's like a basic subset. Yeah. And then you kind of like specialize if you want to. You're watching Izzy and Ibra TV.